back to play my favorite game. I know it's yours too at home. We're so happy to welcome back to the show this morning our beloved antiques appraiser, Dr. Lori. Yay! Good morning. We're going to play dumpster or no dumpster? Yes. Do you pitch it? <laughs> Do you keep it? We're That's a big old dumpster. Does that I mean know. a lot of things are going in the dumpster I know. this morning? And I brought you something outside the dumpster that none of you want in <laughs> Southwest Florida either. Did you see the snow in that dumpster? Oh, I yes, know. we do not we want hate that. that. No mention of snow <laughs> no here. No mention of snow. All right, so let's okay. go ahead and start playing. I'm excited. I know you're so good at this, Carly. I'm really not. <laughs> you are. You're good. Okay. All right, so number one, a rolling pin. A rolling pin. Is it's there any info you can give me, Dr. Lori, on okay. whether... This is a mid... 1900s rolling pin with the dough trowel. What does that mean? That basically means that the dough trough is there. So you put the dough inside there and then you roll right within that little bowl. Looks dumpster pretty, or no dumpster? It looks pretty fancy. I'm going to say no no dumpster. Okay, it's a dumpster. Oh, <laughs> come on. That's here's, very unique. Here's why. If your rolling pin is all one piece and it doesn't actually roll, okay, if it doesn't actually spin on that nice uh -huh. bar, then your piece is uh, basically... I didn't know that. I couldn't tell that from the picture, Dr. I'm Lori. I'm sorry, I have to bring them in then, I guess. I mean, geez. I'm not trying to trick you the whole time, Carly. All right, okay. so you need it so to move and it not needs be to one move piece. of okay. its own accord. Okay. okay. And that will give you... Uh, speaking of a great, as a great chef, you uh -huh. know, I didn't get these arms myself. <laughs> so speaking as a great chef, you have to remember that, again, it should move by itself in the Okay, yeah. all right. Number It'll two. It'll make a better dough. Autographed photo... All right. Autographed photo in red marker by Pete Rose. Uh, ah, that's I'm a thinking tip. the hint is red marker. Yeah, there's so a I'm tip there. Say, um, Autographed photo of the baseball legend Pete Rose re signed in red marker. Uh, He's the Reds, remember? <laughs> um, okay, no dumpster. Okay, no dumpster. <laughs> That's yeah, right. Even Good if it job. was black, though, right? You okay. don't throw that away. Yes, but Pete Rose is relatively well known in sports in the world of sports collectibles for choosing red marker to go uh, along with the Cincinnati Reds. Ah, okay. Yeah. Now, when it comes to other players, does it matter what color it is? No. In ink, or it's just no. It's just interesting to know yeah. what they he, typically do to know. That and they signed many, many things. Yeah. Remember this little tip. A lot of you don't know. About 90 to 95 percent of all sports collectibles are fakes. Yeah. It's very easy to fake a sports collectible, so you need to make sure you have authenticity and a good appraiser, a good appraisal, as well as, of course, provenance or basically okay. chain of ownership. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm one for one. But you did a good job. Okay. There. Number three. Okay. A this doll. is a vinyl doll. Okay. I need more info. Dumpster or no <laughs> dumpster? Vinyl doll. We'll look at her condition. Okay, all right, so we're going to say that's dumpster. That's a big hint. That's my girl. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a dumpster. She's very right. cute. She's very cute. Yes, that's Are right. Are dolls right. worth, I mean, if you get one that's in it's good a, condition. Okay, what are you looking for for dolls? That one's not in very good condition. It's a vinyl doll. It was made in very large numbers from about the 1960s. Everybody had one. Okay. Not a special doll. So basically what you're looking at is you're looking for condition. I like to see a nice china head, okay. right, a head made of ceramic. I like to see segmented joints. Okay. Okay. It's like they've been working uh -huh. out. Okay. And you want to also see, of course, a good name brand usually on the back of the neck. Ah. Uh, From any okay. time before 1925, those dolls can have significant value into the thousands. Okay. All right. Okay. Two for three here. All right. Okay. And next up, a little sporting uh, equipment, right? Okay. <laughs> croquet These, set. This is a croquet set in the backyard. I grew up in Connecticut, so we played a lot of croquet. You know, oh. it's one of those New England things. You put in the spikes, and then mom says, go outside. And that is, in fact, a complete croquet set. Circa 19, it's Mad Men. It's kind of circa okay. 1960s. It is a uh, complete set. It's got the spikes. It's got the balls. It's got, of course, your little mallets. I'm still gonna say dumpster. Dumpster, though. no, no dumpster. No dumpster. We're rebooting all these new, ga all these old games. We're coming back with all of this stuff. So these pieces are great for the man cave and the game room and lots okay. of interior designers are using them. Okay, and I guess are, are they good them. quality back in the day? Good if quality. They still... they're, they're still, they're all wooden. They're all okay. actually made on a lathe. So. Okay, nice try. All but right. Remember about <laughs> I'm batting like, 500 right like now. like vintage, particularly in games. All right, yeah. so last one. Number five, a pre-Columbian, what is it, a vessel? It's a pre-Columbian vessel. So we it was found, in fact, in Mexico. Okay. Um, and it dates to the 9th century A.D. Oh, I'm going to say no dumpster. That's right. That's okay. no dumpster. <laughs> Anything that survived that being that old, it needs to not be thrown away. That piece is a pre-Columbian piece, which means it's from here prior to Columbus coming, pre-Columbian, okay. right? And it's valued about $5,000. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, a museum wow. quality piece. 
I threw in a winner for yes. you. Yes. 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 Yeah. Great job. All right. Dumpster so no not dumpster. bad. Not bad. <laughs> Dr. Lori, we love when you were here. Again, I'm happy you're always to be here. such a, a wealth of information. Yes. And, uh, so Thank much you. fun. We love how passionate you are about what you do. And again, and come back soon. I will. We're happy to help all of your viewers yeah. with those, their questions too about their art antiques and collectibles. Thanks, yep. Carly. So email us. You can send us things. Again, she can look at it just by the picture. That's how yeah. wonderful she is. All right. Thank you, Dr. Lori. For more on this segment, all you have to do is head to our website, fox4morningblend.com. And up next, we take you to a peaceful place where you can learn about some of Southwest Florida's cutest critters, why you and the family should make a trip out to the Peace River Wildlife Center.